Hey, Jessica, it's Ethan over at Lavery Automotive here. I just wanted to put a face to the name for you so you know who you're dealing with. And I also wanted to give you a walk around video of this RAV4 as well. Now we are a non-commissioned sales team. So any of the damages we see, we will show. And I'm also gonna show you some of the really good features that this thing has. Um, now you know it is a Toyota, so that speaks for itself and reliability factor. But I'm just gonna show you right off the bat, there is a little bit of a nick right there um, and a chip right here on the hood. But outside of that, that's perfect on the front. Um, the windshield is good, no chips or cracks at all. Another safety feature is this turn signal on the side here. Um, they are on both sides now, so you can alert people to the left and right of you when you plan on switching lanes. Um, another nice thing about this is it does have breakaway mirrors going forward and backwards. So if someone were to side swipe you, it wouldn't rip your mirror entirely off, which is a really nice feature. A um, little bit of a chip right here and here, but very minor. You can't see it when you back up. Uh, and then here's a little scratch right there and there. I'm going to show you this back seat so you can kind of see how spacious this is. Um, and just kind of everything that it has. So you do have your seat pockets in the back. Um, you have three seats, but you can also fold this down for a cup holder in the middle if you needed it. Um, no rips or tears or stains in the cloth as well. And then you do have a, an outlet down there. Um, so that's the back seat. Beautiful condition there. Uh, your gas cap is on the left side. We'll go ahead and open the trunk for you so you can kind of see it. You do have your WeatherTech floor mats in the back here that you can put in the front of the vehicle. Um, the seats do fold down for you, so if you wanted to maximize your space, if you were moving something or um, maybe if you bought a big couch or something, you could put it back there as well. Um, so we'll go close this, and I'll take a step back so you can kind of see this vehicle from the rear. Um, it's a very sharp-looking, sporty vehicle. Um, nothing wrong with the tires at all. No curb rash on the rims either. And we'll go ahead and show you the uh, passenger seat. So again, no tears or stains in the cloth. Uh, you have a little storage compartment right here for passengers. Uh, here is your glove box, very spacious as well. And you have a cup holder here and here, some change area or whatever you wanna put in there and then another little storage space. Down here, you can put in eco mode or sport mode. You have your aux cord, your USB, and you have your um, power box if you would like to put that in there. Here is your center console. If you lift up once, it only takes you to this part, first part, and this is a pretty spacious thing. But then you can also lift this up here and have even bigger storage space there. So we'll go ahead and walk around to the driver's seat so you can see what it's like to drive this thing. One second, here we go. Off the bat, you have your power windows, your power locks, and um, your power mirrors right here. This is to dim um, your dash. This is uh, your lane keep assist. And then here is your seat here, and to open your gas cab, you use that. Now, you do have your steering wheel controls here, which is really nice um, for driving. You don't have to worry about messing with it on the dash and all that stuff. You can just put it um, directly from your uh, steering wheel. And I'll go ahead and turn this on for you so you can hear it start up. Starts right up. Perfect. And we've already put this through inspection, so it's path inspection. No dash lights on. A uh, nice little thing that pops up there and shows you that this is turned on. Uh, you do have your AM, FM, CD, and aux cord and uh, Bluetooth audio. This is just kind of some averages of the car here, um, driving and trip information. And here are all your controls here. You do have cold air. It is blowing cold air, um, so don't have to worry about any AC problems. And yeah, that's that vehicle here. Uh, give me a call. Let's set something up. I know we talked about coming in on Monday but I'll be uh, having the vehicle ready for you on Monday. So just give me a time you're coming in. Thanks, Jessica.